Hello guys, welcome to another video. So as you can see this is a uh, totally different scenery what you guys are used to. Um, this is actually going to be a follow up a follow up video for my Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus unboxing video. And like I said in my other video that I'm going to show some of the gameplay and and uh, show you guys for the new uh, for the new for the new guys that really don't PC game at all, just got consoles and don't care for uh, PC gaming. And uh, maybe you are a, um, a game console player, and you're thinking about getting into PC games. I'm going to show you exactly what's involved of. Um, what is actually involved in actually playing a PC game on a, on a computer. So I'll be demonstrating that and also the purpose of this video is uh, to show a little bit of the gameplay of the game of course and um, also to show you guys what I did mention in my uh, unboxing video that that uh, system specification, the system requirements is a little bit um, overrated in my opinion from my personal experience, like I said on the uh, unboxing video, is if you if you spend you spend enough money to build yourself a decent gaming rig, right? Even if it's a five-year-old computer, he can still get away with uh, with playing with playing some of these newer titles on old hardware and. Uh, of course, the computer is not completely old. As uh, if you guys have seen uh, seen my unboxing video for my uh, graphics card, that's uh, one of the new additions that I added on to added onto the computer, and also a new sound card was also added to the computer recently. But everything else on the computer is pretty much five six years old. And to prove that, I'm going to show you that what I'm saying is true. So I'm running a G GeForce GTX 1070, and it's on an i7 3930K CPU. It's, I have it overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz right now. Of course, I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM, and my monitor can handle 1680 by 1050 at 60 hertz. So I'm going to show you here, guys here that I play a lot of games on here and this is just a small uh, a small taste of what I actually play as you can see that I do play a lot of the modern games on here of course Doom is one of my favorites Crisis 3 is one of my favorites it actually runs this game pretty good if you guys want to see how this how my computer handles Crisis 3 let me know in the comments, you know, any of these games here, if you guys are interested to see how how my PC handles any of these games here, you know, has, don't, don't be afraid to comment down below and, uh, you know, I'll be happy to, to, uh, to showcase this, you know, I want to keep, I want to keep this channel more for unboxings and things like that, but, you know, if it's going to take for me to add some video game play onto this channel to make the channel grow even bigger I will do that so anyway what I'm about to do here is I'm about to insert the CD into the CD drive of course one of the reasons why why uh, less, uh, less media uh, which I mean by actual physical discs I started to go away nowadays is because a lot of the PCs nowadays don't have a CD-ROM built into the computer at all so you just basically download the software through, uh, through a service client through Steam or EA's Origin or Oregon's um, uh, uh, 
Uplay. I think it's called Uplay, actually. I believe it's called Uplay, which is this one over here. So, in Windows 10, it actually pops this up over here. So you just want to click on that. But you can also uh, go into your uh, Fire Explorer here. Right, and then just uh, go into your uh, this PC here. Of course, if you can see over here, that uh, you got Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus on here. So you want to do is you want to double click on this, and of course, it's asking you for a language. So a lot of the times when you double click on that, there's. Uh, a piece of uh, software instructions on there it's, uh, which is called auto autoplay where as soon as you double click on it it actually launches that software automatically but if you actually want to get into the roots of the actual CD like this if you actually uh, should just be able to click on um, open yeah, so you click on open and you get all the softwares on here. So, so this is how you get into that uh, into that part if you ever need to get into it. So in this case, just gonna double click on here. Of course, um, my English. So you gonna click OK on English. So now it's gonna start going through uh, the process here. So a lot of uh, a lot of these games have got this uh, splash window on here which actually allows you to install it tech support and exit so I'm going to go ahead and install it of course you got to accept the agreement right and uh, I've noticed that sometimes not all the time you actually got to scroll this down to actually make it look like you actually read it I'm not telling you guys that uh, that you should read it you should absolutely read it. I'm just a fast reader. So, hint, hint. But, I'm telling you guys you should read it. But either way, I'm just going to keep it at that. So, I'm going to enter and, uh, no, it doesn't make a difference. So, print receipt. Well, no, I don't need to print the receipt because I physically bought this. So now, this is when things start getting a little, a little, um, a little more computer know-how savvy. So in my case, in my case, I have a few drives on here, as you can see. Okay. Um, of course, my oops. Where did this go here? Hey, where did you go? Oh, there it is. Okay, just push that onto the side here. So, in my case, I got a whole bunch of drives on my computer. So, I actually got um, three three external drives, which is this one, this one, and this one. And then I've got two SSDs, which is this one here. I usually use for a scratch disk for uh, for my editing software. This is my uh, my operating system SSD, and which is actually pretty almost full. <coughs> and um, I've got a second hard drive. I've got two internal hard drives on this computer. So. When you're running an SSD and it's uh, really limited like this, what you want to do is you want to create a second hard drive for your main software. Now, under uh, on Steam, I had set up the software so that it automatically goes into my D drive, which is my hard drive. And of course, in this case here, it's actually telling me that it's going into the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I don't want that happening. So. And of course, well that's the way I've have it set up. So I guess I just might as well leave it. I don't want to screw around with that. I'll just leave it the way it is, just to make things a little bit more simple. And of course, you can create uh, create desktop shortcuts 
and you can also create a start menu shortcut so desktop uh, shortcut is actually an icon that's up on here if you also want to create a shortcut menu shortcut so when you hit the start button here you got these tiles on here you can actually create a tile on here and be able to uh, be able to go in that direction as well so I usually don't go in that way so I'm going to click on next here and then we've got all this uh, information that we got to read and of course I read it all and now it's going to go through the installation process so now I'm just going to give you guys an idea how long it takes for for some of the older software to actually install this um, like I say I my computer is not a slouch by any means it's actually pretty uh, pretty powerful computer for what it is it better be because I spent a good chunk of change on this PC um, yeah so basically for the new guys that really don't uh, PC game at all this is what's actually involved in getting a computer a computer game running on your system so you actually got to install the software and uh, and then you go from there afterwards this is also a lot of the times where um, where you got other software you got to go through the installation as well so you know maybe I'm being uh, I'm being too beginnerish I guess uh, I guess for this here but there are people out there in the world that um, don't really don't know this type of stuff you know and um, you know I'm pretty sure I'm sure that uh, somebody has typed in on a search term on YouTube and saying how do I install this right and um, you know and there is a video on there that uh, explains how to do it right I mean I use YouTube for for a lot of stuff as well it's a great platform and that's why I want to uh, you know give back give back to the community because of that because a lot of the stuff that uh, that I do buy for example or or are planning on buying I turn to YouTube and and uh, you know find out what's 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 the product about you know um, like uh, like this channel here if I started this channel doing unboxings and things like that and and uh, you know one of the things that I uh, I enjoy watching is unboxing videos and when I'm planning on buying something right I'm just curious what 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 is the experience of uh, unboxing a particular product or something like that and that's why I've I've done it you know and um, yeah so YouTube is a great platform for uh, you know for pretty much everything, and uh, yeah. So now it's actually starting to read through the disk, so it's actually going through the installation process now, and then of course, and it depends on uh, on how fast how fast your uh, your. CD player or Blu-ray player or DVD uh, drive, which in case in my computer I actually got a Blu-ray. Uh, it's actually a Blu-ray burner that I have on my computer right here. I can, I can actually burn Blu-rays and stuff with with this uh, with this drive here. So it all depends on how fast the drive is. It all depends on how quick this is going to install. So it says here it's going to take an hour and 54 minutes to install. But then also if you look at, um, uh, if you're just going to download the software, depending on your internet connection, it can take us as much as an hour, an hour and 30 minutes to uh, to download. And then it has to go through the installation process, but of course it'll be through through the hard drive. It'll, it'll install a lot quicker on the hard drive than it will on the CD-ROM. But then you also gotta, gotta, you know, it all depends on your internet connection too, right? And a lot of people can't, uh, can't really afford, can't really afford uh, really high bandwidth uh, type of internet connections. 
and uh, things like that so yeah so I'll probably just gonna take and maybe uh, fast forward to this part here and uh, yeah so I'll get back to you guys when uh, when this is actually done here okay so it's finished installing so I'm gonna hit finish and uh, let's see here okay so now once it finishes installing shouldn't need to use the uh, okay so it's actually more downloads going on over there so I can actually take the disk out of the drive now because I don't need it anymore in uh, in the olden days you'd actually have to have the disk in the drive to actually start the game but uh, a lot of uh, a lot of these uh, manufacturers and game studios and stuff are actually using online activation now and these discs are just more for installation purposes and that's it so in other words I ain't gonna be touching this no more unless I have to reinstall it for a new computer or something like that so we'll let this uh, Okay, so the download's complete now. Let's try to let's try to start this and see what happens here. So now we got two options here: to play both sign two and new Colossus, and you also got a save mode. Now, if you have a problem with loading this one up over here, you've got this save mode, which actually loads up the minimum minimum uh, um, drivers, so you can kind of troubleshoot and see what's going on with the game just in case it doesn't load up on the regular on the regular one over here so we're gonna keep it on regular gonna hit on play and let's see so now a lot of the times when these games start it auto detects the graphics and it'll set it to um, set it to um, the best performance wise for what your PC computer is so let's see what this thing says here for for that okay so first thing is presented is with Adjust your brightness until you can barely, until the barely number one is barely visible. So I'm gonna actually increase this, I guess. Okay, so the one's barely visible. So there's a zero. Uh, oh yeah. Save it right there. Hit enter when done. And coming soon, the Freedom Chronicles. Sure, close. And new game. So, of course, let's go right into the options here. We're going to video. So, of course, it's automatically set for ultra. One monitor. Aspect radio 1016. 1680 by 1050. Full screen Visa Virtual Fancy Adaptive. Well, I don't have adapter at all here, so I'm going to turn that off so I can get maximum colorblind. And also, let's go into Advanced Settings. Concepts. Alright, so we got the field of view set to 90, maximum frame rates 1000, lights on uh, ultra, shadows. So shadows have ultra and uber 
So I'll just keep that the way it is at the moment, and uh, I'm going to uh, see how that how that goes. And uh, something else here. GPU. What's this here? The toggle GPU. Train on the fucking recommend for AMD. Nvidia card. So I'll just keep that. I'll just keep all that stuff there. Changing the scale mode, okay, so I'm just gonna keep that the way it is. Hmm. I wish this thing had. Alright, so. Um, People just go and go on brute force with these games. I I kind of like to start from the bottom. Basically, set the game to the easiest so I can get a feel for it. And then if I do complete it, and then I'll take and work my way up, work my way up to uh, you know up to the top here. So. And I like how it shows the uh, the baby with the uh, with the pacifier in the mouth. <laughs> That's funny. Do or die. We've got oh yes. We've got uh, blood there, and even more blood. This that's cool. So of course, it's let's just do that one there. And wake up to reality. Fergus Reed, one of the old guard. You're still breathing, you dummy bastard. Hey, you're tough as you come, you know. Jesus Christ. Hey, doggy! Catch! Private Wyatt, good kid. Uh, see you on the flip side, Captain. General Death's head is nearer to us now than he's been in years. We eliminate the general, we cut the head off the crib war machine. That's him, isn't it? That's Death's head! Help me make a choice. Is Luke to the one you would have me dissect? Thought I'd seen it all. But I've never seen true cruelty. Until now. Oh, did the same? I think I see something. Is on you. She takes good care of me. It's 1960. The USA, they surrendered 12 years ago when Nazi atom bombed their country. On a train to Berlin. Ich bin Oberstaubannführer Engel. Sehr schöne arische Züge. The resistance fighters, where are they? BJ Blaskovich. Caroline. Life. If you call shitting in a bag living, ceasing the war is over. The we are weak. Don't have the guts to oppose them. But as always, they are wrong. Set. So I wonder why it says previously on what the sign. Oh, okay, previously on what's on the new order, so. so. I'm not sure yet. What do you know of Zed Roth? I wonder if that's a flex. Source of the Nazi technology, I'm here to rescue you. I hope you'll find what you seek, my friend. My name is Bombate. William J. Blaskowitz. Be safe out there. No one leave my hand! Max Hoss! Mr. Max. Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Dasich is an ancient, mystical society. We invent things, the technology, the development. Dasich is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. Take us back to Berlin, Blaskovich. And your old friend Frau Engel was leading the attack. Denzin must have promoted her for actions in the labor camp. You know what you have here, Captain? This is the evil hammer, the crew jewel of a Nazi U boat League. Get inside the compound as fast as you can. My death's head off the face of the earth. Death's head? Should have killed that man long ago. Got you standing. <laughs> Captain, we are in position. The nuclear cannon is on. Permission to fire? <clears throat> You're clear.
So the graphics could look kind of fun, uh, look okay. And here, I have uh, soup and porridge. Which one would you like? I want to see what the gameplay looks like over here. So as you can see, it, it actually moves around pretty, pretty good. And uh, so it's gonna. PC to record this footage also with uh, GeForce Experience. So. You know how he is. Mother, am I acquitted? Was I righteous and just? Good enough to witness the awe of heaven? You have no idea what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh no. Mother, I'm going to hell. Oh, pull my buffet. Well, I have to cut most of his intestines out. Whatever it takes, Ted, please. Stay, this is my scope. You fight through this, and I promise you, I promise you everything will be all right. Kinderlach, let me anyone for the good blood. Now, all right, listen up. You, you, you fucking do. Go down to another line up on the hill by the shake bike. Fuck it, I get fucked. Oh my god, you gonna put that in your mouth. Wow. Fierce! Whoa! I need light! Sophia, out of As you can way. see, it, it's... Don't bullshit me. I saw him with her. You have no idea wow. what it's like to suffer like I do. Oh, Sophia, every day I'm out there busting my ass, tooth and nail, getting screwed out of my earnings left and right, humiliating myself just to keep the business alive. I saw them two together, Sophia. Getting sweet with each other under the poplar tree. This cannot happen! I have worked too hard for too damn long to lose my reputation because my boy is sweet on some n- It cannot be like this. I cook. I clean. I tend to the stables, to the field. You are not the only one struggling for it. You should have shut down the business when my father told you to. We are behind in everything. Three months behind in utility. All the money my father invested, you have lost. You are playing with fire, Sophia. What are you doing? 
I just want to see if we get some actual gameplay here, but at the rate this is going, this is going to be a long video, so I can't fast forward this. So, anyway, I think I'm going to. Let you hurt my son. You shut your damn mouth, or shut it for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is it with you, damn Jews? Have all the answers, do you? Smart mouth, goddamn Jew. I married you. I figured your father'd be an asset. You're just a damn millstone, sticking your nose into my business instead of handling your own. If you can't raise a boy right, I'll do it for you. Get away! Oh. Oh my lord, he even threw the dog out. What the hell? In the closet. Make me sick to look at you. What, am I gonna get to throw it? Get. I guess so. You are so goddamn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. And what are you gonna do about it? You can't fight to save your life. Well, at least I can teach you how to take it. Slow your breathing, Blaskovich. Recover your strength. Big plans are in motion. The tides are turning. The Kreisau Circle is rising. I will need you by my side. And we make our move. Wow, there's a lot of cutscenes in this game, eh? Can you feel Give me some actual gameplay here. Dinner time. Yeah. Yeah, you good girl. Yes, Bessie, you such a good girl. You ain't going nowhere. Whimper all you want. In life, you have to make hard decisions. And sometimes you got to punish the animals out there. Oh, it's no kill way. Be killed. The old and the weak are doomed. All manners of scum and sickly minds, oh, no and way. cockroaches doing everything in their power to rob the white man of what he's earned. It's on us to straighten out the queer. It's on you. Finger on the trigger. That's right. Now, shoot her. Shoot her! I got a shooter? Screw that. That's bull, because I didn't aim at the dog. Just See, now gameplay kicks in. Press G to activate the hit. So, anyway, as you can see, it actually, uh, frame rates are actually pretty decent on here. So, I'm gonna stop the game here. Um, if you guys want to see me continue on with this game, uh, let me know in the comments. 
like I say, I really don't want to turn this channel into a gaming channel. Um, I just want to keep this channel more for unboxings and things like that. But uh, you know, if you guys do want to see the see me continue with this game and stuff, I will. I will. Uh, I will. I will do it. But now that you guys know that uh, I'm not a professional gamer whatsoever so there's gonna be a lot of deaths and stuff on stuff out on this game so just forewarned so anyway if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if, uh, if you want to see more this type of videos want to subscribe and comment down below and a uh, reminder that uh, I am giving out a Nintendo Switch, looking for a thousand uh, subscribers to activate the giveaway. And um, until the next video, bye.